1989, two best friends, Harper, Ruth, and Rapnilder, were up bright and early and on their way to start the first day of their summer jobs. As fate would have it, they never arrived. <laughs> This scene was like a war zone. It was hard to tell exactly what had happened. It was obvious there had been a major accident, and the occupants had been thrown from the car. There was evidence of that scattered about the scene. You realized at once that some terrible human tragedy had occurred. I was immediately informed that one occupant was dead and the other, my daughter, was very critically injured. I was devastated. I was driven to the hospital where staff briefed me. Later, I couldn't recall a single thing I was told because I was in such a state of shock. I was utterly devastated and now I had to face something I was totally unprepared for. Her spine was broken, completely broken and loose. The muscles on either side of the spine, both these you can feel here and in your back, as well as the inner muscles to the side of the spine, they were all severely lacerated. Nerve roots were also ripped loose. On the right side, she had a large gaping wound, stretching from the hip bone to the groin. There was a gaping hole into the abdominal wall, which was also badly bruised all the way through. An internal examination showed that the abdominal muscles were badly lacerated. The left colon was badly torn. So you can see, the lower part of her body had almost been wrenched from the upper half. In fact, she'd almost been cut in half. I waited in intensive care, and when my daughter was brought up several hours later, I wouldn't have recognized her without being told who she was. Her head was double the normal size, bruised, and there was extreme swelling. There were tubes and wires attached all over. I'm a seasoned operating room nurse, but it was something utterly different to have to look at your own child in this horrifying condition. Oda Gudion's daughter is married and the mother of three children. A qualified OO nurse, she has for decades worked at the National Hospital, where she has had to deal with numerous very difficult situations. But all that experience was of little help when she learned that her own daughter, Rapnilder, had been critically injured in a car accident. 